He's waited a couple weeks. Davis dialed in, then finds the safety net from the steal. Gets off easily. And you can see the congratulations first from Webb, and rightly so, as our world number three is on the board. Yeah, that's going to put the pressure on those other guys. This is a really good bull ride. Bull's leaping, cracking, bucking. He's going to be 88 and a quarter all day long for Davis. But it just makes you wonder, if you ride that good this week, why couldn't you have went and got on some last week? You got to, when the best two guys in the world is are setting and breaking records, you have to be able to keep pace with them, not just beat them when you're there and miss when you're not. Let's send it to Kate. Great ride. Bull riding, of course, an individual sport, but now number one, number two, getting set to go. How big was it to put up a big ride and put the pressure on? Uh, you know, this first day is uh, always a big deal <laughs> because those guys aren't going to fall for too much. So you have to start it off with a bang and hope they, uh, you know, they're going to follow it up. So we'll have to see how it goes. A bull went right into your hand, that one second mark, and you thought what? Yeah, that bull felt really good, and uh, Ricky told me right before I got on him that he was just a good one, and I'd like him, so never seen him before today, and I like him. I would say so. Well done. Thank you. Craig. For the lead. Stay down. There you go. Cooper continues his run. His last event. He emerged victorious. He has just moved to the top spot in Jacksonville. He needs 82 and three quarters. This one's going north of 90. You can bank on it. How big? 91 and three quarters. A pretty good guess there. <laughs> Wait, he said he's going. How he's like? How do you know he's going to be over 82? I mean, you got it. <laughs> this is excellent bull riding by Cooper Davis into his hand he's never really lost sight of him he knew just just make him look fancy right there at the end make him look harder than he really is for him because this bull he's got him all day long he's moving that outside leg getting the money chops well when cooper does come to town with it on his mind he may just be the hardest guy in the world to beat he runs his career ride total to 205 let's send it to kate's you were a fan of that bull the moment you got to the locker room today. What worked so well between you and Mike's motive? You know, that bull reminded me a lot of Chiseled, and, uh, you know, he was to the right. And uh, in this deep dirt, it kind of got bogged down a little bit, but he kept hustling, and uh, that was a lot of fun. Fun to watch, too. Great ride. Thank you. Craig. That is Cooper's sixth 90-plus point ride of 2021 to go to the number one spot. Oh, stay with him. <laughs> Davis able to domesticate Amy's pets. And even with the stumbles, Cooper on fire. And you know, that kind of is going to hamper the score a little bit. And I like the fact that it made the degree of difficulty up. I, it'd be hard for me to dock the points, but you have to on the bull side because he's not supposed to do that. But this dirt just takes a toll on this little bull around them corners. And props to Coop for not giving into it and reaching down to save himself. He just sets his chest. Great bull ride. He's now six for his last six. The 85 points puts him in third overall. He will have a fantastic pick in that championship round. Let's send it to Kate. He had such good timing. You just kind of watched that trip that happened there. How much patience does it take to ride through that? Uh, it takes a lot of patience. You know, when those bulls go down like that, this dirt's really deep, and uh, it's kind of got to be patient on them, let them gather themselves back up and do the same. How satisfying is it to get one like that down? <laughs> uh, really satisfying. You know, it gives me a good shot going into the short round, and I uh, got a good pick, so see where we go from here. Well done. Thank you. Craig. Cooper, great ride, and what a way to end it. We missed you last week. You were setting out with energy or an injury, rather, but you told me earlier today, if you're coming, you're confident you're going to win. How much confidence did you have when you walked into the building you were leaving here with that buckle? You know, I had a ton of confidence walking in here. Uh, this season's a marathon. It's not just a one-event type deal. So uh, taking off last weekend, I feel really good coming into this week and continuing on. Uh, and my confidence is pretty high right now. 
Let's get to that championship round. Been a while since we had a crowd like this when you got to ride. Describe the energy inside this arena. Yeah, absolutely, Jacksonville. We appreciate all you guys coming out. Uh, it's been amazing just to be able to see the, the fans back in the seats. So uh, thank you all, and it, uh, it definitely amps us up and made us ride a little better today. And last, Cooper, with this win, you're even closer now to both Lemmy and Pacheco in that world title race. A lot of season left, but your thoughts as we get even closer to November? We're getting closer, but we're not there yet. Uh, there's a lot of season left. Those guys are going to keep riding good, and I just have to keep riding good. And uh, end of November, we'll see where it all pans out. Congratulations. Thank you.